All right, so now let's look uh, in some of the best practices for encrypted communication. So this is actually defenses or ensuring correct encryption. Now, encryption prevents an attacker from intercepting traffic sent between you and your users. It is cheap and easy to implement and an absolute necessity. So what are the risks of this kind of attack? So the prevalence is occasional, I would say, is the prevalence is very least likely. The exploitability is difficult because you would have to have some sort of a man-in-the-middle attack strategy to actually do it, but the impact is devastating, so you cannot reiterate that enough and secure Wi-Fi hotspots as illustrated in a previous video are just one of the ways uh, hackers have found uh, to take advantage of unencrypted communication they may also try to sniff traffic within your network and if they get access inspect traffic going through compromised edge devices so any point between your server and uh, the user's browser is a potential weak spot Given the non-deterministic nature of internet routing, a lot of opportunities present themselves to an enterprise attacker. So, how do you protect? First off, buy a certificate. They are often free, depending on your host, provider, or hosting company. It's really as simple as that. Web servers and the installation, like I said in the previous video, is just one single-click installation often. Or renewal. Web servers are typically able to serve the same content over HTTP and HTTPS and in this case if someone would try to connect on HTTP if you have a enforcing rule so if someone tries to go on 80 HTTP you would actually force them to move on to the 443 HTTPS version. Any non-trivial website should use HTTPS. By non-trivial they probably mean any website that deals with sensitive information and that's most of the websites today unless it's a very static website which is not the case for 2022 web almost 3.0 make sure you know how to force your web server to elevate to a secure connection that's that's also often handled by many hosting companies if you go into the if you go into the control panel of your hosting or, or yeah if your hosting company you probably have some sort of a very easy setting to actually make it work a common way of enforcing this is to make sure that cookies are set to secure so if you're a developer you need to make sure that the secure flag is set on the cookies sessions in that way can only be established over um, HTTPS so if you're looking um, if you're looking to add a renewal security certificate let's encrypt is a quick and easy way uh, so that's sponsored by Mozilla Facebook and EFF aims to make encryption ubiquitous across the web by eliminating payment web server configuration and certificate renewal tasks so exactly what I was saying now code samples. The code samples below illustrate how to elevate traffic to an HTTPS connection in various setups. Fairly common to put Apache or Nginx between your web server and the outside world. Yes. And IIS, maybe? Maybe? I'm just asking. <laughs> if you have this setup, it is very easy to redirect HTTP requests. Uh, in Apache, a real write would. So I believe this would be maybe in the dot ht access. I might be wrong, but still. The equivalent in Nginx is even uh, easier. Now for Python, Django, to force it, the easiest way to install the Django library, SSLify to make sure that cookies are only transmitted over secure connections including the following options in your config session cookie secure equals true and there are other multiple flags that should be set to cookies in order to make them um, secure or more secure you could look at um, you, you could look at session management on the OWASP session management cheat sheet on the OWASP website um, to actually get more information about that. Ruby set the option config.forcesSL to true to ensure traffic travels over HTTPS. Java, which is something that this is very verbose. I don't like it, but still. You put this in your web.xml. 
and Apache Tomcat, there are instructions on the official website here, SSL. There's a lot of stuff in here, so unless you are forced to use Apache Tomcat, better avoid that. .NET, another one, official from Microsoft, still. Maybe not as hard as Apache Tomcat, but still a lot of stuff compared to a single line in Python, three lines, four lines in Nginx, and three lines in Apache. Dot HDX, I believe. Okay, so further reading what is TLS, definitely check that out. Configuring HTTPS in Django, so you would be or it would be good if you read that if you're dealing with Django. Otherwise, why learn something that you do not use? You only need to implement HTTPS if you're handling financial transactions. What effect does the keyword secure have in the set cookie header? It ensures that cookies can only be passed in HTTPS requests, so sessions can only be established on secure connections. Encrypting communication prevents the passing of malicious payloads. So let's see. Okay. Now, I believe that was it for unencrypted communication. Not really interesting, still important, still, I think it's... Um, not the most prevalent security issue but still if you do encounter it you need you need as as an attacker both as an attack as an attacker or and also as a defender to handle it appropriately now next is going to be user enumeration this is also i would say sort of like low key stuff unless you're dealing with um depending on the context user enumeration might be more impactful as a security issue versus other scenarios but we'll actually look into it in the in the next two videos then i'm more actually looking forward to look into information leakage and password management there's still a lot to go so be sure to spread the word about this um, series everywhere because that's the main reason that keeps me going. Otherwise, there's no reason for me to do these videos for free, to spend my actual free time to do these free videos if there is at least not an increasing awareness. And you watching the video, please right now share it on your social media, especially Twitter, LinkedIn, so that others can find it.